I'm Nicole Hassoun. I'm a professor of philosophy at Binghamton University. In traveling in other countries, you see people who really need help, who really are struggling and doing everything that they can to have good lives, but they weren't so fortunate to be born in the U.S. and the kinds of situation most people here are born in. And so millions of people die every year from these easily preventable poverty-related diseases, things like malaria and tuberculosis and HIV. And so if we can incentivize greater access to essential medicines, that could make a really big difference for people who are suffering around the world. I have an index where rating pharmaceutical companies' attempts to extend access on essential medicines around the world. It's a global health impact index. I'm really excited about it. It will launch at the World Health Organization. Uh, the hope is that it can incentivize greater access to essential medicines for the poor. Then that could create an incentive for companies to do whatever gets them highly rated uh, to have a greater impact on global health. So how do we evaluate each drug? So basically what we do is we look at three things. We look at the need for the drug, how effective it is, and how many people who need the drug can access it. Once we have the drug scores, then we're able to aggregate them in a couple different ways. So one thing you can do is look at the total drugs impacts in each country. You can also look across diseases. So if you click on the disease tab, you see the total impact we're having on these different uh, diseases with these medicines. It's uh, simple and easy to understand and you can see in a transparent way where we're having an impact and where we need to have a greater impact on global health.